Everybody, what's up? This is Eric Dusick over at Glitch Mode Recordings. Uh, another night in the studio. I don't think anybody's coming over today. I think it's just me. I thought maybe K-Bear was going to swing by. But I don't think so. And I thought maybe Deadliner was going to swing by, but I also don't think so at this point. It's getting a little late for them and I haven't heard, so... They must be out there. <laughs> engaged in other activities. Uh, Alright, so just me. Um, what's going on tonight? Well, first things first. I'll take a quick moment to mention a little piece of gear I just got. This is the Radio DI, uh, what is it, the Pro 8? It's the Pro D8. It's a direct box racks, rack. Um, if you don't know what DI boxes are, direct boxes are, it's just a way to turn like a line level quarter inch instrument into an uh, XLR signal. That's not the technical name, but that's how I look at it. Um, it makes it so the signals going to the board are like manageable for those guys. Um, and the fun thing about DI boxes, venues never have enough. If you're the opener, they especially don't have enough. And in fact, you're actively inconveniencing them by even showing up needing a DI box. Um, that's a slight exaggeration, but only slightly. Um, the greater lesson, though, is if you want your stuff to go smooth, <laughs> your stuff to go smooth, not your stuff, your stuff, um, you control it as much as you can. So it's a high quality. It's made in Canada. It's, it's like a middle to like, it's pretty much a middle tier, but it's a little higher than a prosumer tier uh, module, and um, that's cool. It's one less thing to worry about. Interestingly enough, I think it was originally bought once just to rent to Ringo Starr for some kind of a performance, and then that was it. It sat in storage, and I bought it used, so that was cool. Uh, pretty stoked about that. Uh, we need it for the live show. Um, we're trying to get multiple, you know, we could have just bought like one or two little DI boxes, but we need more channels because we're going to try and do some cool routing. Um, it might be routing for vocal effects. It might be some cool kind of live effects and stutters and glitches and stuff. There's different ideas out there, but we definitely need need the uh, all the DI boxes. <laughs> all right, so what's going on tonight on deck? I'm working on something new. I try to work on something new every single night just to keep new ideas in the hopper. I'm going to work on a track I started last session because I was feeling like there was good energy there, and I want to keep keep working on that. Um, and the last thing I'm thinking I might work on for sure is like a little sample library scouting. So like I talked last time I lost this drive, I lost all these libraries. Um, I don't, you know, need a ton of new sounds. Um, I do need some. And it's not even necessarily about them being like a specific kind of sound, just something to give you like a little excitement, some new ideas to start writing around. You know, sometimes you get this entire sample bank, it's just one cool little drum loop or glitchy thing or whatever. Um, and I'm looking for more of that. So I'll probably check out the Black Octopus site and see if they have anything cool there. I recently got a sample pack that was kick drums called like, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it was like Big House Kicks, but I think it was something less like Big house more generically EDM, maybe Monster Kicks, I don't know. But it was good, it was good. And, you know, you only need like, you only really need about five good kick drums that you like. You shouldn't use a ton of different kick drums, I don't think. Um, and realistically, maybe you should have 50 or 100 good kick drums that you like. Um, so buying a couple, like, really good kick drum sample packs worth it, you won't need any more kick drums, like, ever again, basically. Um, if you're the kind of person that has 8,000 kick drums, unless you, like, really, really enjoy the process of going through all those samples, I would suggest you reevaluate your life decisions, because your process is probably really, really slow. And the truth of the matter is, even if you have 8,000 kick drums, and probably because you have 8,000 kick drums, you're still going to the same couple kick drums. I know it. I know it, because I know a million people. I know I used to do that. Like, it's just the way it goes. So think about that. Um, and that's basically the night. So, uh, signing off from Glitch Mode Studios is Eric Dusick with Breath and Decay, the Glitch Mode Squad, Glitch Mode Recordings. Uh, until next time, take it easy, everybody.